Hey guys, what's up and welcome back with another video. Today I brought you a great plugin for your Minecraft servers. The plugin itself is called CNCPS and essentially it allows you to create NPCs that are able to run any command on your server. You will be able to go to a world or even set a warp just by right clicking on them. You can customize them with color text, set a specific skin, add equipment and even to set up to three text lines. It's a free plugin right now so you should go get it immediately before it gets paid version. Also it's compatible with much many plugins and much versions from 1.12.2 until 1.16.1 works perfectly once you learn to manage it. Guys managing this plugin is very easy and simple. The first thing we're going to do is to type in our chat slash cnpcs and then it will pop out immediately all the commands that we can use. In the creation we will be able to add line text in the colors, we can either make the npc look at us, uh, move from place to place, toggle its holo, its name and make it glow. We can either add armor and weapons and we can change its skin. At last we will add a command to show its function, we will explain them one by one in detail. It's very simple, just follow my steps. So creating an NPC it's very simple, uh, we will just uh, stand right in the block that we want it to spawn and we will type in chat the command slash cnpcs and then we will type create and then the ID that will identify the NPC, I will choose number one for the first one. Then you want to put the name of whom you want the NPC to be. I will put for this case Quenen. And at last you will want to add the text that will appear on top of your NPC. For example, I will type server. Then follow it by the second line that I will put, um, I don't know, prison OP. And the third line, Minecraft server. Like that. You will just type enter and the NPC will create as you can see perfectly. So uh, if we want to add colors to it, we can just simply use again the command, but this time we will add color codes before the words to make it work. So CNPCS, create, this time I will choose number two because it's a different NPC, and I will type uh, Quenen for the same skin, I will type color green for server, I will type color uh, purple for Vision OP with caps and at last I will type um, some type of green for Minecraft and uh, server. So um, in this part you can see that I put this uh, little bar over here. This little bar uh, makes the work of a space. So I will create it and as you can see there is not the bar over there but it identifies like there's a space. So as you can see there are two different NPCs. This is NPC number one and NPC number two and one half color codes meanwhile the other is normal. Let's say that you regret adding a skin or you just want to change it. Uh, we will type in chat slash cncps skin and the ID of the NPC we created and we want to change skin. So I will type my nickname and then it will pop out a success message so as soon as this happens we will click reload on our console and as you can see we are now twin brothers. So now we will change the lines above our NPC and this is very important because it allows you to do it without erasing it. So the first thing is to be straight looking at your NPC over here and we will type the command cnpcs and then lines and immediately you can change off whatever text you want so I will put like this and I'll put hello pretty and you can see it, the text is already changed about my npc another important feature that this plugin has is that you can change its location by simply using the command cnpcs move and the idea of our npc it will change from place to the place that you are standing or flying in. For the toggle process is required that we'll be looking directly to our NPC. The glowing effect can be activated by just typing cnpcs toggle glow. 
if we want to put the name hide it we will just type the same thing but with name and you can see it pops out below him so we will hide the name again because we don't want to see it and we will type cnpcs toggle and hollow and you can see it disappears the message above so we will put it again it's very simple plugin the way he uses so and at last we will want it to change the look of us so I will cross border over him and he will always look at me this is very useful for new players so you have NPCs that look everyone now I'm going to teach you how to keep your NPC with weapons or armor in this part it's very important that you wield what you want to attach and we will need to be looking directly to our NPC for it to work we will use the command slash cnpcs equip and for the sword we will use hand as you can see if i just put the command like this it will show us the different parts of his body that we can attach so right now i'm going to try with the chest plate so i will type the same command over here but with chest plate and as you can see it puts the chest plate inside our npc so if we want to take that out we will just type the same command but with nothing on our hand and then chest plate and then the npc clears out now comes the fun part and the very most important part of the video the command cnpcs action will allow us to teleport to servers worlds warps and even anything you want to use there are two types of functionality here the first one is server and the second one is CMD. The first one is used to teleport to other worlds, usually is used in hubs or minigame servers, meanwhile CMD is used to run commands. I will explain this by an example. With server we will just type slash cmpcs action server and uh, for example skywars. This is not necessary, should be Skywars, you can put Bedwars, uh, Survival, whatever the world you want it to use. So I will leave it like this, just for an example for you to know how to use it. And for CMD, the thing changes. We are going to use the plugin called GWARPS for our explanation. So you can see here we have it, we will create a normal warp, uh, set GWARP like this and we will put uh, something yeah we have created a successful warp call it something so if we use the gwarp command and we put something it will teleport us immediately to here so right now we will want to put this command inside our npc so what we will do is slash cmpcs action we will type cmd as you can see here and we will put gwarp and something as you can see, uh, the NPC have success loaded our command, so without uh, typing the command in our chat, we will just uh, right click on him and he will teleport us immediately. Our NPC is ready to be used in any Minecraft server we want, and now it's your chance to try them and have fun with these teleport options. This plugin is very useful to avoid players asking for commands and instead creates a habit of use being simple and adding value to your server remember it's a one-time setup and this plugin will change the way you have been playing we do our best to improve it's every day so leave a positive review on our webpage to help us motivate and continue working for you thank you for choosing us and we hope everyone get to know us in the future